Hey everyone, it's Mr. Bushido again with another short video at, at any Geek Q site, aka Geek Nation News. So, uh, we're going to be talking about today about the Lionel Sailor Tencent Sentai Go Sager. Um, I got this a while ago actually, and I did a video when I got it, barely opened it, and um, but uh, I forgot to actually do a, a review of it. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, um, I got this, uh, like I said, I got this a while ago, like um, maybe like around January, January or November, I'm not sure. Well, actually, maybe it was December. And um, I got it, uh, sadly, this is not the Japanese version, it's the Korean version. Um, the, the Japanese version was just too pricey for me, and um, at the time, my budget was really tight, and I really wanted to get it. Um, so I uh, I saw the I saw this on eBay for uh, forty five bucks and I read the information that this is not the Japanese version is actually the Korean version so uh, so that's why uh, I'm like you know what forty five bucks you can't beat that price so I got it and um, the box is not bad the way how it's similar to the Japanese one but it's a little different and it's just a little smaller actually very little small better that it's quite the same and. Um, not much difference, except it's just everything is in Korean. And, uh, so let's see how, let me open it, let me see how it looks. Again, so, um, the Lionel Cellular Tencent Sentai Gosega. I never got really into this series, um, I only saw a few episodes, but I did like, I did like how they, um, they had their, um, their morphers, and of course, my favorite was, uh, I mean, my favorite was the, um, the, the Lion Cellular. His, but uh, I uh, I started watching the American Mega Force, and um, I, of course, um, my my way my favorite character was gonna be Robo Knight. Uh, sadly, I did not like the American version of the Robo Knight Morpher, and um, so I uh, like I said I wanted to get the Japanese one, but sadly again, my budget was tight at the time, and uh, I couldn't afford the the one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred fifty dollars, so. I went with the $45 one. And um, I cannot actually, no complaints about it because uh, I seen this, I seen the, the difference between the this one and the Japanese version. And um, it's not that much difference. The only thing difference is the sounds. It's in Korean. And um, I know, I do know the fact that some of the sound, uh, some of the sounds don't come and that's the difference. That's the only thing that I can complain about the Korean version compared to the Japanese version. As a Japanese version, you can put, I think you can at least put at least 20 different codes or, I, you can put a certain amount of um, numbers input and it will make sounds. As in this one is, it's, uh, I know they decided to put all the codes in. And I notice they do that a lot when, when it comes to the Korean versions of uh, Sentai, you know, toy lines or morphers, even Kamen Rider stuff. Um, Sadly, like I said, the, the only bad thing about this is uh, it doesn't have all the sound effects compared to the Japanese version. But it has quite enough, and it has the, at least the, the basic stuff, like when you activate it, it says gacha. And, uh, so let's try it out, and I'll be back for you in a second. Hello, so we're back, so he, he, let's try this out. So I'm going to turn it on, and see, it does make the same sound. It's just the voice uh, is um, the voice is uh, Korean, not Japanese. And not a cool feature. The in the Japanese version, it has Japanese uh, letters in each of the numbers. As this one actually just has it in American. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Um, the Japanese one and the American miniature version both have the Japanese, you know, symbols. As in this one again has um, has an actually an American. That's weird. I, don't, I guess what well, they, they went with it. Uh, let's put a number down. All right, let's try another one. Let's see if I can remember one more. Oh, 
And like I said, it's not that bad. It's the only thing is that it doesn't have all the sounds. And um, it's kind of that's something that kind of buzzes me out. But out of that, I really don't have any complaints about it. It's the same size, it's the same mold, the same thing they used straight from Japan. Because the Korean Bandai does the same exact thing. It's just that when it comes to the sound effects, they do lesser. Uh, I guess to save space or something. I'm not really sure why they do that. And um, Sally Review. Sadly review, um, that's the only thing I have against it, and um, at the time I got this for $45, but sadly, again, another thing is, uh, because this is, uh, because of this series is three years older, really, really Tensei, um, Tenso Sentai Gose, Gose or, um, the series is from 2010, even the Korean stuff is getting expensive now, at the time I got this for $45. That was about three, four months ago. I have been, I went back to their website, and this is already eighty dollars, and it's it's going crazy, I guess, because like I said, this series is already three years old, and that's the thing when it comes to Sentai stuff, it becomes pricey, uh, especially the older stuff. And um, as you know, if you if you have a tight budget, that's the only thing I have against it. But other than that, this is a must if you. Can if you can't afford the the Japanese version, this is a must have because, like I said, it's the only thing bad about it is it's um, it doesn't have all the sounds. Bad about that, it's just the same as the Japanese version, same size, same well, same sounds. The only thing different is just you know speaks Korean. Bad about that, I have no complaints about it. Just that one part. Um, the box is nice, the morpher is nice, and. I, I really don't have any complaints about it except for that one part. But out of that, I like it. Um, I, and I, it's a two thumbs up for me. And again, it's um, uh, like I said, it's eighty dollars now. It's still cheaper compared to the Japanese one. It's a hundred and ten, hundred fifteen, and I see now hundred fifty. If you could afford the Japanese one, then get the Japanese one. If you can't, then get this one. And um, the, the it's cool thing about this another thing is I bought it from a buyer that uh, sells uh, it was free shipping so it totally only cost me forty five bucks and uh, out of that then that's about it and also to give you a, another heads up um, I am gonna get another uh, I am gonna get the <clears throat> I am gonna get the Tencent Sentai Gozer Morpher and I, I ordered that uh, it's uh, actually it's a uh, like again, uh, I didn't get the full price. I actually got it under ninety dollars with uh, go set keys. Actually, their keys, all the whole set, and also a few cool cards. And I should be getting that in a few days. And also, uh, I will do a video review for that one. And also, I will um, be filming um, a short, small con. I'm gonna go to uh, Monster Palooza. It's a small con in the if you live in California in the Valley. It's a uh, it's to celebrate uh, all about monsters and horror and um, sci-fi stuff. And it's something that it's the first time I'm going to go to it. So I uh, will film there for a day. And I hope you like it. And this is Mr. Bushido signing out at Anthony Geek Side, a.k.a. Geek Nation News. Goodbye, YouTube world. <laughs> Mama,